You're listening and watching to a very special podcast. Here we have more on Benjamin. Ooh, boy, you guys are going to love when you hear this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Benjamin was taking notice on how well these people were fighting. But then he noticed something was up with Silver. Something was very deranged about her. One minute she was just all bouncy and happy, but when it came to something really intense and really powerful, all of a sudden, Silver became fretful, worried, having a lot of anxiety, and all of a sudden when she reached to that, she changed into someone else. Someone with light pink hair glowing with sparkles, but her eyes, they look like kaleidoscopes. And she was saying in a crazy like tone, Looking at my little boots! Looking at my little boots! Looking at my little boots! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yay! <laughs> And then, she went into different forms. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> then Silver would step out of it and wonder, Whoa! Uh, I must have hit my head on something. <laughs> Woohoo! Where did that come from? Silver Wonder. She was switching back and forth, back and forth every time there was an intense scene. For example, Mika was faced with monsters. The monsters were taunting him about being an ugly bloodsucker. How they try to bring back the guilt he felt for not saving his own family. That drove Mika into a rage. And then he talked about it is my fault. I could have been strong enough. But Chloe butts in saying, Oh no, 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 no. What did I just tell you? It wasn't your fault. The only person who is responsible is Farid Bathory. I understand you got nothing against him, but that bastard, that bastard needs to die. Okay? You got that? Mika was surprised. You really don't. Uh, uh, uh brooding vampire boy with blonde hair and pretty eyes let me tell you something if I hear you talk bad about yourself I'm gonna get really angry and up in your face you are going to feel something painful in your head the next day so don't even try it with me got it suddenly Mika just sighed <sighs> fine I'll shut up thank you Thank you very much. Now, move on. Silver said, oh yeah, Farid Bathory. As soon as she said that name, she switched back into her crazy mode. Yes, Farid Bathory. Farid Bathory must die. He must die for his sins. Oh, bad reputation, huh? Well, reputation, my ass. Then Silver turned back to normal and she began to hit her fist against her, the temples of her forehead, saying, Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! What the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Shit! 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 She said, muttering to herself as she did that. Oh, what the hell is the matter with me? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> Nobody saw that, right? Silver asked, uh, no, you're, you're fine, Ben said a little nervously. Okay, good, let's continue on. But then it came across Silver that she thought about someone. I wonder what, where Maggie is. Then she turned to the MPD and, and said, MPD, where's Maggie? The screen flashed and Silver's eyes widened. Would you look at that? But then her persona, her crazy persona was in view. Yes, they're alive. They're alive. <laughs> they're alive. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. What the hell's going on? Oh, man.
what she saw on the screen was Yoichi, Kimizuki, Lola, and Maggie were just in some sort of dark room, but they were fighting against the infestations and the corruption. Well, it wasn't really easy. Benjamin looked over. Hmm. Those chaps are quite much like fighting. Oh yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> quite does well with the teamwork, doesn't it? <laughs> you should see how you and Kimizuki are together. <laughs> they make a really odd couple now, don't they? But anyway. However, she accidentally hit the contact button. When she noticed this, she's like, oh shit. But she then thought, hey, maybe I can get someone to listen. Maggie? Anyone? But nobody could hear amongst the rawr and Ugh, get off me, bitch. There, I'll teach you. Nice job. <laughs> Man, that was a close one. <laughs> you did pretty good, ladies. That's when Silver cried out, yeah! I knew you guys had it in you! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! <laughs> Silver said. However, her exclaims were heard finally. Silver? Silver, is that you? Silver realized that the MPD was on her lap. And she realized, oh shit, hang on. Then she looked over at Ben and said, don't talk. Don't be seen. You too, Taylor. And you as well, Isabel. I don't want to get myself into trouble. Ben just looked amused. Silver looked at him with a warning glance. I mean it. Don't, don't say anything and don't let yourself be seen. They're still looking for you. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll do what I can. <laughs> just keep your mouth shut. It was then she saw the four of them and Silver clapped her hands in excitement. Well, one hand, since she was holding the other. Oh my god! Oh my god, you have no idea how much I'm so happy to see you! Are you okay? Maggie said. I'm so, we were so worried about you! Really? Yeah, we were. Oh, and by the way, Kofuku and Koku were trying to find you on the... MPD, but no such luck. How the heck did you manage to contact us? Oh, um, I don't know. I just pressed the button and somehow it got me linked to you. Lola had to ask, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay. Are you with that Ben guy? Uh, no. I am being held somewhere. I have escaped from him. That sort of thing. Silver lied, but she had to lie quickly and brightly. She didn't want them to know where Ben was. Even though sometimes she was a bad liar. Well, okay, Lola said, believing her. <sighs> oh my god. This chick has been driving me crazy. She got these two boys, then she... They all ganged up on me because I have to owe her something. Uh-huh. Owe me big time for helping me? Don't you mean... You have to owe me? I think it's a win-win situation. I did help you. Now you owe me back. Oh, for goodness sake. She's making... She's tormenting me. She's even using these two as alibis. Really? Yeah. <laughs> She said win-win. I already helped her out. Yeah, but it was unexpected. I didn't know it would attract the attention. Oh my god. Th that's it. That is it. <sighs> the whole world's going blinky blue blazes. Have you, haven't you noticed? Maggie said to Silver. I have noticed. Did you seriously say blinky blue blazes? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Wow. That's crazy. <sighs> Did you have any contact with Barrere? No. But I assume she's pissed at something. Oh, no shit. She found out that Ben is possibly responsible for that whole... 
reviving her friends as infestations. Silver looks surprised. Can you hold on one second? Just hold on. All of a sudden, Silver had to whisper, Why didn't you tell me about this? Then Ben whispered back, I had no responsibility for that. I did not do that. I have been here the entire time. I never contacted with the agency of Evermore. But you always come by to the building. How? I never even offer them that. I don't know what they're talking about. Ben whispered. But then he remembered, wait. <sighs> Dirge. He has something to do with this. Oh, shit. Now we're in trouble. Um, I hate to break it to you, Silver said back at the screen. But, um, yeah. It wasn't Ben. How do you know? That's the same thing that Tilda told Barrer. I don't know. I did my own research. I mean, I didn't know about it, but then I saw it in the article. Silver said, again, lying brightly as usual. Oh boy, when that lie gets bigger and bigger. But she had no idea about it, but she had to make something up. However, Lola said, you know, I hope you're not lying. I hope you're not being cocooned anywhere. Cocoon? <laughs> That's just a big understatement. But Ben had to blow it up by saying, she's perfectly safe here for all we know. Silver froze and she glared at Ben. Ben realized this. Oh, sorry. Wait, is, is that Ben? Is that Benjamin Hallows? Yoichi said. Silver's face tensed. Uh, no, no it isn't. Oh yeah, right, Kimizuki said. That is him, isn't it? Where is the son of a bitch? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna... But Silver pressed the click button and off they went. Well, the call ended. Silver sighed. You freaking son of a gun. Do you have any idea what you've done? Sorry, I, I just wanted to point out I'm not the type to cocoon someone like you. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Holy shit! Silver cried out. Look, 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 look. It's her. Yep, it was Barrera on the screen. And she was fighting off against corruption army. But something happened that shocked all of them. By all, Ben... Taylor, Silver, and Isabel. You want to know what it was? Find out in the next one. Thank you so much for listening and watching. See you guys next time.